channel if you guys are new here hi it's your girl Lucy and today guys we are going to be talking about some more interesting strange Barbie dolls I have covered Barbie and her little tea in a few videos previously and you guys love those videos so much that you guys kept asking me for more so you know what I had to do I went on the internet I did my research about Barbie I found all the tea about her and I'm going to compile it in today's video if you guys agree that this Barbie doll right here is terrifying and you don't want her to come to your house at 3 a.m. be sure to drop a like on today's video and get today's video to 20,000 likes guys also guys be sure to hit the subscribe button and put on that bell notification so that you guys always are notified when I post a new video it is free and also guys I want to give a huge shout out to today's daily shout out winners above my head congratulations and if you guys want to win a shout out in the next video just leave a comment down below for a chance to win and without further ado let's just get talking about Barbie okay so the first creepy and most disturbing Barbie that's ever been made is easily the spider Barbie okay hear me out imagine a Barbie doll's head with the body of a literal spider yeah long creepy spider legs that might have hairs on them which is a single lone Barbie doll head with hair sticking out of it. It almost reminds me of that really creepy doll that you guys see in Toy Story. Literally, that's what that Barbie reminds me of. It's actually terrifying and it looks like something that I would only be able to see in my nightmares, but luckily, this doll was not an actual Barbie. It was actually just designed by a designer on Etsy who makes Barbie dolls into their creepiest forms. And honestly, if that's what they're going for, they do a really good job of it. It's honestly quite terrifying. Not my thing personally, because I am literally literally so scared of spiders. I don't know about you guys, but I am terrified of them. But this is quite the piece of art, like literally quite the piece of terrifying art. <laughs> so the next Barbie we're going to be talking about is a literal actual Barbie that was on the shelves of stores. This Barbie was called the Kissing Barbie. This Barbie was wearing a romantic dress of sheer pale pink nylon with a floral and kiss imprint pattern. And this doll was sold with a little tube of lipstick attached. This doll was created with a funny gimmick, actually. If you pressed a button on her back, her neck would lurch forward, thrusting her permanently puckered lips towards you in what was supposed to be a kissing motion. Even though it kind of looked more like she was about to peck out your eye with her nose, which is kind of terrifying. And if that's not crazy enough, this doll even came attached with love letters written to Ken for some crazy reason. And even worse, she apparently makes kissing sounds. Yeah, you heard me. Literal kissing sounds. I don't know what they were thinking. That is crazy. So the next big fail Barbie we're going to be talking about today is the SPF Barbie. Mattel released the Sun Gold Malibu Barbie in 1983. Per the box, the Beach Babe doll came with three pairs of sunglasses and a tote to towel bag. Perfect for spending hours and hours soaking up that cancer-causing UV rays you'd get at the beach. So basically this doll was kind of like teaching kids to tan and sit in the sun with their Barbies. Maybe like they would bring this Barbie with them when they go to the beach so they could both tan together, but not really including the dangers of sun damage. That's right. Wear your sunscreen. This is not a threat. Sun damage is real, okay? I used to be really stubborn when I was younger about wearing a lot of sunscreen, especially because I played a ton of tennis when I was in high school. and. And I'm really pale. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm pretty much ghost mode. You know, Danny Phantom, going ghost like they say. But skin cancer is seriously very serious and that's why it's not good to just directly, you know, get in the sun without some sunscreen or some kind of protectant. But in short story short, this doll backfired pretty bad because parents were getting mad that it was sending the wrong message to their children about tanning and that you're supposed to just go get perfectly tan or that being pale is not cool. So it obviously didn't end up sending a very good message to kids and had a bad influence and was pulled from the shelf. The next Barbie doll we're going to be talking about is the Share a Smile Becky doll. Share a Smile Becky is Barbie doll's first friend with a disability that was designed so that the Barbie doll would reflect the richness and the diversity of the real world. At the time, it seemed like the company was doing and saying all the right thing. They worked with the National Parent and Network Disabilities to design this doll. But however, there was one teensy maybe not teensy, pretty big problem with this doll. Kids who had this Becky doll eventually realized that her wheelchair that came with her was not able to fit through most of Barbie's dream houses and dream rooms, unfortunately. So much for leading the way for accessible play, as they would say. And that made a lot of kids upset because they had these big old Barbie dream houses where they wanted to roll their Barbie through the doors and have her feel included. No matter what her design was, you would have thought they would have made the wheelchair 
excessively fit and all of the other Barbie accessories and dream houses they made, but no, they did not think about that. And of course, this made a lot of kids very, very upset that they did not think about that and parents were pretty upset too and it did not end well. The next Barbie we're going to be talking about is Barbie the Computer Engineer. And it's crazy because if you guys didn't know, Barbie has like a million different jobs. Like she does everything. But Barbie the Computer Engineer? Let me tell you why this doll was problematic. This doll was released in 2010 and the doll itself wasn't exactly the problem. It's the companion book that set off the alarm bells for this doll. In this book that came with the doll, Barbie is a video game designer, but she needs the help of her male co-workers, Brian and Steve, to turn it into a real game, according to the booklet. Things end up getting worse from there, and Barbie accidentally infects her computer with a virus, and she has to turn once again to Brian and Steve to save the day, even though she was the computer engineer. So basically, that was sending the complete wrong message to young girls, saying that, hey, because you're a female, you might not be able to fix your computer by yourself, even though you're a quote-unquote computer engineer, which is totally against what Barbie was supposed to be going for. Barbie is supposed to be self-empowering and lifting girls and women up, but that one came across pretty wrong, honestly. Mattel eventually quickly pulled all the books from this Barbie from the store shelves. While the book itself was disappointing, the massive backlash against it was a source of encouragement. Mattel quickly backpedaled and pulled the book from stores, stating that it didn't reflect the brand's version for what Barbie stands for. But did it? I don't know. Conspiracy. The world may never know. I mean, it's a pretty interesting concept because Barbie is supposed to be a computer repair person, but why wouldn't she be able to fix the virus on her computer if she's a computer repair person? like what? So the next doll we're going to be talking about is the Growing Up Skipper doll. And this doll is extremely, extremely concerning. Let me tell you guys why. Growing Up Skipper provided young girls with a doll that could grow breasts and got taller by simply twisting her arm so that Skipper could grow right in front of your very eyes. This is not a good way to teach children how to grow up. You don't just twist your arm and then all of a sudden you grow. And um, the way that they conveyed this and just everything was just, it was not good. Basically when you twist Skipper's arm, you can make her torso stretch out an inch and her chest to somehow fill in. And then if you want to turn her back in time, just twist her arm the other way and Skipper, you know, changes a little bit. Meet new growing up Skipper. She's two dolls in one. Because when you turn her arm, you can make her change instantly from a little girl to a tall, slender teenage doll. <laughs> This was a terrible idea. So basically they were trying to like, you know, help kids or young girls. In other words, realize how they grow and stuff. But just the whole way that that doll looked and how it grew and stuff like that came off kind of wrong to young girls and taught them some very interesting lessons. I don't really know what they were going for there, so that was an epic fail. And you want to know what else was an epic fail? Pregnant Barbies. Yes, you heard me. Preganto. Preganto, Preganto pre Barbies. <laughs> in 2003, Mattel released pregnant versions of Midge and Barbie in the Happy Family line. The dolls were constructed with hollow centers where a baby was stuffed and then covered with a magnetic belly. Consumers complained that the doll promoted teen pregnancy and that kids were playing with these dolls and then being like, you know, I want to have a baby. So pretty much just saying like, you know, having a pregnant Barbie was not a good influence on the children because they might think that, you know, they want to have a kid. And to make it worse, the dad dolls that were actually included in this packaging for these Barbies did not have rings on them. I mean, it just kind of conveyed the wrong message to kids because the pregnant Barbies were with their quote unquote fathers who they were not married to, which also made quite a few people pretty upset because they thought it was not a good influence on their children. The next Barbie doll is honestly a little bit unexpected to say the least. I know that Ken has his dolls, but have you heard of the Shaving Ken doll? Yeah, I haven't either. I never knew this was a thing. And I think this one might have been more directed towards boys. By the way, hi boys. If you guys are watching my channel, you're a real MVP. Comment down below, I'm a boy. So that I know that you're watching this right now because this one might have been directed towards young boys for some reason. Ken may not exactly be a Barbie doll, but he is part of the Barbie collection. What more fun could you have than shaving Barbie's boyfriend, as they'd say, right? Every kid's dream. Not really. Shaving Fun Ken comes with shaving cream and a razor so that you can have a blast. 
Ghost, pretending to shave his face. This Ken doll actually has a color changing beard that's activated when the water is applied to it. So when it's wet, his beard actually does disappear. It's kind of ridiculous and it's quite the concept, but you know, I'm not sure if that one was too popular on the market and Barbie was more marketed towards girls, so I'm not really sure how to feel about that doll. It's just kind of weird. When Last but not least, we have one more doll to talk about. The Lounge Kitten Barbies. These Barbies came in a package where they were dressed as cats, really strange looking ones, while sitting on a shoe or lounging. Mattel decided that it would actually be great to not just create one special edition cat Barbie like this, but an entire collection of cat Barbies. I don't know about you guys, but that thing is hideous. Have you guys seen the movie Cats? I, I haven't, okay? I, ha I seriously have not watched it. But when I saw this Barbie doll, that's the only image I could not get out of my head. It was so ugly. I don't know what they were thinking. It literally reminds me of the Cats movie and that was not a cute sight to see, okay? It's nightmare fuel. Anyways, guys, those were the weird Barbies that keep me up at night and help me not sleep because they terrify me and they scare me, especially the spider Barbie and the cat Barbie. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think is the scariest Barbie from today's video and comment down below letting me know what you guys would like me to film for future videos. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and leave a nice comment down below for a chance somebody shout out in the next video. Anyways guys, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, night, morning, wherever you are. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!